Hey guys, what is up? My name is Pony Wars Blast. We're going to another video. So today's video, I will be reacting to the Ahsoka trailers. Yes, I will be reacting to both of them. And also talking about what I think would make the series good compared to what I think would make the series bad. Um, so with that being said, uh, oh, there goes my camera again. So here I have is the teaser trailer, which we're going to check out first. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Something's coming. Something dark. Is it you? Okay, I admit that's pretty badass. It's pretty good. I like that red. It's really this is cool. A new beginning. Love it. For some, war. Got Hera, Chopper. That's soon, actually. Let's see, it's August. Um, it's been a while. Things have changed. Yeah, in about like a couple of weeks, actually, this will be released, I which I'm hearing whispers. super excited for. About Thrawn's return. As heir to the Empire. I love this music. We have to prepare for the worst. Let's hope that the worst doesn't come, then. The Jedi fell a long time ago. Yes! 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 Ooh, cannot wait! So that was the teaser trailer, and now let's go and... Oh, I'm blocking my camera again. Um, let's go and react to the... Oh, sorry. Um, let's go and react to the official trailer, and okay. That happened. Um, and okay, let's begin. Let's have a party. War is inevitable. One must destroy in order to create. I'm curious what they're gonna see what do with these two um inquisitor characters. No Jedi. I know um the the guy the guy I started here. Um, basically, whispers. the guy, um, Ray Stavon, Stavonson, I, I don't really know what how to, I don't really know how to pronounce his name, but basically the so guy who plays the male bad guy, he voiced Gar Saxon in Clone Wars and Rebels. That's why I'm trying to convince- He voiced, um, he voiced Gar Saxon in like Rebels and Clone Wars, and he sadly passed away this May, so um, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do with him. I mean, granted, I don't really know how they really do it, but I assume these kind of stuff are filmed before the actors pass away. I feel like that was the same thing with Carrie Fisher, who passed away in 2016. And, uh, yeah. Um, Rest in peace to both of them. Um, I hope that this will be good. Um, I hope that this will, this show will be good. Convince you to help me prevent another one. I like what they did with Hera. No, who could help you with this? She's still just as stubborn as ever. Well, Sabine, what do you expect? I bet your master found you difficult at times. Anakin never got to finish my training. I walked away from him. Just like I walked away from Sabine. You never made things easy for me. Master. The way she just turned. Sometimes you have to make the decision no one else can. But I'm counting on you to see this through. Nice haircut. 
Well, it's Sabine. She's always got a haircut. Sometimes we have to do what's right, regardless of our personal feelings. Buckle up. What, what's with the armor she's wearing? If we don't stop Thrawn, everything will be in vain. Yes, but where's Ezra? Where is Ezra? Anakin spoke highly of you. I'm not here to discuss my past. We have a lot of work to do. Once a rebel, always a rebel. I like that quote. Okay, this... Okay, now this actually looks really good. This, this actually looks really good. Okay, so there is that. Um, so, I guess I might as well talk about um, what I think will make this show good compared to what I think would be a stupid idea of what they did. So, two things that I think will make this show, like, really good is I kind of want to know why Ahso Ahsoka was wearing, like, ar this armor kind of thing. Um, I'm kind of curious to see where they go with that. And I really want them to find Ezra. So, there's that. Which, speaking of which, I think the worst thing that- well, Two of the worst things that could happen in this is if Ezra's not in it because, it you know, he went with Thrawn and we don't know what happened to him. Um, we, like, we know what hap what's going on with Thrawn, but it's like, what about Ezra? What's going on with him? And then, um, another thing I think will make this series, um, I think will be a very dumb idea, um, with this series, is that they make Sabine Force-sensitive. I say that's a dumb idea because, um, we already know about Sabine, we know who she is, we know all about her and Rebels and all that. And if they wanted to introduce her to being Force-sensitive, they could have just done that in the Mandalorian arc with her. <laughs> Stupid pug. Um, so, the idea of Sabine being Force-sensitive just seems a very stupid idea, in my opinion. Mainly because we already know about her and all that. Anyway, that's all I got time for you guys today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye! -bye.